Come on, Ellie. Skin that smoke wagon, see what happens. All right. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Is it a keeper? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Michael, you got to eat the heart of that one. I will. That's the first one. Real men eat the heart. Hey everybody, it's Matt with Boat to the Belly. Um, I'm here today to kind of share some uh, insight for what uh, we found. Uh, we just got back from the Brewster Pool uh, fishing for sockeye and uh, learned a little bit because every year is a little little change here and there um, also i'm here to, to kind of share some changes to our our channel uh, matt and i both have boats now and that's a blessing it's awesome um, we have a chance to banter back and forth but uh, we don't have a chance to fish as much together so we're kind of in the middle of trying to figure out how we want that to work um, we got to figure out the camera situation. We got to figure out the editing situation. So we're kind of in limbo on trying to figure out what uh, what we need to do to provide a better content for you. Um, we're having fun catching fish, but we want to share some of those some tips and tricks that we're doing. And right now, Matt and I are kind of boat captains, like everybody else. Um, we're not really guides, but we're bringing family and friends with us. And so a lot of them haven't done what we're doing. And so it takes a lot more effort and time to set them up. So we're less focused on the camera to get recording on what's going on. This last trip was kind of a fiasco. Uh, we had some great fun opportunities. Uh, we also had some things happen that if we would have had cameras rolling, it would have been classics. Uh, I had a, a rod break. One of my brand new Velocity 10 and a half foot rods broke. Um, no fault of the rod. It was everything that we did on the boat. Um, Matt lost his cell phone in, in the Brewster pool. Uh, it would have been awesome to be FaceTiming some of the sockeye that were down there to see if we were even near the fish. And my buddy John, um, he lost a quality pair of sunglasses over over the board, uh, over the boat, and into the water as well. So it was kind of an expensive trip uh, if you take into consideration all the things that we lost. But we also brought back some knowledge. And some of that knowledge includes uh, what I felt was very important knowledge in relationships to hooks. So one of our setups that we used right here, and you, maybe you can see it, it's just simple. It's a, it's a squid. This one happened to be an orange. It actually caught some fish uh, for us with a smile blade, silver smile blade, but it's on two single hooks. And one of the things I kept hearing from the guides is that treble hooks increase hookups. So I was like, hey, I'm all for it. Because we all know that we lose sockeye. We lose too many sockeye. That's just the nature of the beast. Uh, but if I can increase my catch rate by changing the bottom hook to a treble, then I'm all for it. So I did tie some of those up. Um, so this was one setup that did well for us while we were up there. Uh, we also like the spinning glows. So this chartreuse spinning glow right here with the two red beads, that worked out well for us uh, up there too. But then I 
have some things that were set up with the trebles. And this happens to be a copper smile blade UV with some chartreuse and pink in there. And it caught fish, um, but we lost a lot of fish. Um, day two that we were out there, my boat, uh, we, we landed 10 and we probably had 20 to 25 on that we lost. And I'm not kidding there. And all of them on that day were troubles. So I'm not a firm believer that troubles really make a big difference. What they do make a difference on is getting stuck in the damn net. Every time we put a fish in the net, those things would spin and roll. And it just seemed like these barbs would just get caught up in the, even though it's a rubber net, would get twisted and get embedded in there. And it was just a pain in the butt. Um, so I think, and I, I know Mo agrees, we're gonna go back to single hooks. Uh, we were doing just as good, if not better, with the single hooks. Um, we, we, we feel that the time it took us to get these things out of the net and all that kind of stuff is not worth it. It's not worth it. I know some guides uh, firmly believe that their catch rate is, is uh, a lot higher. Um, I also think that some of those guides have deckhands that are getting the stuff out of the net and they're not having to, to mess with that. Uh, but that's just me. Will I use them for, for Chinook tr troubles? Absolutely. For sockeye, not worth it to me. So that's just kind of a, a, a tech tip from, from us. What we found out, uh, we like the single, single hooks and I think we're gonna go back to them. And I think next year uh, when we go back out, we won't be having any troubles on our setups. It's gonna be strictly um, the single single hooks and hopefully we'll go back to, to bringing in our, our boat limits because we had our opportunities. Two of the three days, uh, we very easily could have had our boat limits, but yet we just couldn't seem to get them to the boat the entire way. And maybe it was net job. We had some net snafus as well. Uh, we didn't have any lines break so it was one of those things that they were just spitting the hook. One time, I, my buddy John had one to the boat. I was getting ready to net it, and the fish just kind of went Bleh, and spit it out, almost like it looked at us and said, here you go. Um, and it was a trouble hook. So I, <laughs> I'm a firm believer that uh, we're, we're going to do a lot better with our single hooks, and we're going to tie some more of those setups for next year. Um, next week, we're going to be going to Lake Wenatchee, where it's single barbless hooks. So I'm looking forward to that because I know that we're going to stick some fish and, and hopefully we'll get some good video for that as well. So uh, there's the update for Boat to the Belly. Uh, you can look forward to seeing some good content here soon once Matt and I kind of figure out what it is we want to do with the channel and how we're going to do it, how we're going to get the camera set up. And I know you guys want to see us fish together as well. That's fun. Uh, Matt hasn't even been in my boat yet. And so I'm hoping I can get him on the boat here soon so we can... Uh, put him on some fish because he's always been the captain it would be nice to, for him to sit and relax and catch some fish as well so you guys take care adios adipos goodbye